Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode four of X-Men 97. The last episode, we resolved the situation with the two genes, as well as set up and brought everything full circle with Cable and his future slash also past, kinda. Also, the episode ended with Storm being approached by Forge, who proposes that he might have a way to get her powers back. And that is where we ended the episode. So that all said, let's go ahead and hop in. If you wanna see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got Marvel channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got monthly UNAs, behind scenes footage, and try to make it worth your while since you're going to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. At least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. With that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode four. Motendo slash life death part one. And the song just, it just gives me power and energy, man. Like, how can you hear this and not get hyped up? There's little differences. Every time we go through the opening, too. Surely our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. I second the blue Rogaine ad. Kid deserves <laughs> it. Jubilee will see far more nice. birthdays should she learn to I want that mug. powers to face a world that despises her. Yeah, oh, someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. My parents perished when I was a child. Good one, Morph. <laughs> fireworks and turns 18 today? Me. Aww. Aww. Happy birthday, sweet It's also my birthday! So I'm 30, I'm 36. <laughs> I'm double her age. You would have the master of magnetism seen in a bar of childish make-believe? <sighs> this is bogus. That was a good impression. Genosha entering the UN is a big deal. <laughs> Small fries, I'm the birthday Big Mac. <laughs> I don't know. I think you could kind of set that aside for something like that, man. The only people who hate video games are bad at video games. But actually, this one isn't mine. Max. Never even heard of a Motendo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's it doing? It's evolved. Because that was the, uh... That was the TV dude, right? Oh wow, the modem. What oh, time it's is a it? digital copy of we the real world? I assume I won. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh! Oh wow. Why can't I remember his name? Like I can picture him in my head, but like the name is not coming to me right now. If there's cameras around, my parents could see me on TV. Die, Do you oh. really think what the is fuck? On you? Yes. What is this amalgamum world of their enemies? Wait a second. You gotta jack in. It's like the Matrix. Hello. Oh my God, it literally is. Wild. Whoa, Next uh, level. Genosha? But like way back when, Genosha? I was trapped here with Storm. Yeah, when they were on that resort. All enslaved to build by Bolivar Trask. The dude who created yep. the Sentinels? <gasps> the music too? What I didn't the do that. hell? They, yeah, who did that? Her. Oh. Was that you, Hot Topic Stalker? Call <laughs> <me> <laughs> was Hot Topic around in 97? That might be a dumb question to ask. We're totally in a video game. We're what? Pay attention to the young lady. Yep. Like totally in a video game? Love the totally. Oh my god. Just what I was hoping for, classic Jubilee. What in the name of all heaven is that? <laughs> Mojo here. Mojo. I was like, it's not Mojo. It's definitely not Modoc. It's not Mondo. I was like, it's Mo something. Looks like you've been dieting? You noticed? Got 
that's a yeah. maxim talk. Actually, it's been a horrible third quarter, and it shows. Let's be real. Ratings, ratings are down, are down, down, and I'm thirsty for the next big thing, dirty girl. Mm, that's why I made the pivot Don't call her that. To video games, the future of mind numbery. You're not just in a video game. You're the star. Player numero uno of my first blockbuster release, where every level is based off your own memory. Oh, that explains the levels. I'll dominate the galaxies and the 18 to 45 age demographic. And what if we refuse to play your game? What then? None of this is even real. Well, I about don't want to say something scary, like if you die in the game, you die in real life, but... Well, that is the case. This is the dream, Jubilee. Be young forever. Replay the golden hits. No growing up. The old X-Men are totally old school. Who's the boss? Oh my Evil god. Storm. Different worlds. Divorce court. Summers versus <laughs> Blair. <laughs> uh... Oh, dude. Look at it. Rise of Jubilee. Character Oh, damn. Who was on the selection screen? Shit. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at those. Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch. Shit. There's just so much. This is fucking awesome. Well. Dude. This is. <laughs> Oh! Oh, he's feeding off of the rating, so this is working, and he's getting filled out. Yo! It's this person again. How did you get my health back? That wasn't me. Someone's hacking the game. Someone's got get their game shark. Oh man. Now I'm just thinking of game shark and missing that. I remember seeing this place on the news with Mia Mai. Magneto's old base from his megalomaniacal face. These levels are taking me back. Listen to yourself. None of this is real. Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality will smack you right in the face. Oh! What was that? Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, he, no, he, he's not dead. <laughs> There's no way. Not like that. Oh, no. Roberto's health is almost gone. He's dying. He, it said okay, game over. Come on, it. hold on. Typical boss battle shenanigans. I just need to wait for it to cycle. Smart. Pro gamer moves. Let's go, Jubilee. She did it! No, no, no! This can't be happening! Cheat code? Somebody? Game Shark? Give us something. An extra life! How did that An get extra in? life. I don't speak justifiably angry Portuguese, but I know I messed up big time. It's a specific Still, offshoot language. Not many know it. Oh, it's back. Oh, hexagon. Really? What is this? No need for thank you among friends. And by friends, I mean you. I hacked you out of the game server and into the Whoa, the, the polygonal game models. She's a plot twist. She's in league with Mojo. Zip it, it's a cost up. Uh, <laughs> like I said, we go way back. Oh, whoa. Now we need to move. That 
lobby tyrant fraud could download in here any second and rip us back into his game of deception. Wow. Explain everything! You gotta test a game before launch. Running endless trial loops with you two was too risky, so... Mojo needed beta testers. Digital replicas of me. I'm the only one left. I've played these levels oh, wow. inside and out. Relived the glory days more than I care to count, but note the uh, hair and wrinkles. Before Mojo and claws. killed the beta, I figured out a glitch and hacked my way through here before deletion. Figures my game has cheat codes. Very me. No. I know a part of you wants to hang here. It's nice knowing how every stage ends, but that's not living. Living doesn't no. get cheat codes or extra lives, but it has friends and family, love, loss, and heapings of hope. Life's a total risk, and it's on you. Take it. So Magneto was right. A bit, but he's totally wrong about one thing. Video games rule. Now, Facts. what do you say we destroy Mojo's game and get you two lovebirds out of here? Yo. Whoa. Man. Must have had some major ratings, man. Guys, I think he fell off his diet. Mind by me. The bigger they are. The bigger they are. Wow, I can do that? That ain't the half of it. Just you wait. Oh, whoa. What's the testing? I'm throwing to a commercial during a video. Nice. I got him. Hold up, cowboy. It ain't over till the fat desperate sings. And you nasty glitches. Destructo disc. Oh no, what in the fuck? Dude, this is some anime shit. Yeah, it is. Let's go. How did that even get into their house? Who smuggled that in? Who's the traitor? Oh, there's sparks. Very Scott Pilgrimy vibes from the, some of those segments. Oh, okay. This is kind of like we got an episode and a half. I can get at parts of the brain that are normally dormant in humans. Draw unique connections, see how bits fit, like a Rubik's Cube on constant autopilot. Or simply a genius. Well, <laughs> life and love. I miss soaring. The wind in my hair is so powerful it's hard to breathe. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. Wasn't anything to fix. Just adapted and got a little creative. Let's mm. go for a ride. Oh, finding other ways to capture that feeling without our powers. Looks like you got creative. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh God. Oof. <laughs> the goddess lives. Beautiful. She almost took to the skies. That owl, I've seen him before circling. Perhaps he is like the winds. The winds here never shift. They always blow east, stuck like this owl. Mm. You more than anyone know how fast the weather can change. The real trick to reversing what the executioner did to you wasn't making an inverted version of its radiation. It was creating a machine that could oh, yo. such power. Okay, Aurora, give it a try. Winds, heed my command. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Rise, winds, and move the desert sands. Mm, I don't think it's going to come that easy or that soon. Or maybe the machine works, but she's got to fix something internally before i don't know this is only part one though why is fixing me so important to you after the war i didn't have the resources to build what i so easily saw in my mind the defense department offered to help me as long as i helped them build some devices 
Oh. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. No, no, no. You made these? No, a scientist in Scotland did. Using my early designs, I left the government by then. You, of all people, should know the perils of trusting those in Washington. If I told you the truth in Dallas, you wouldn't have let me help you. So you lied. It hasn't all been lies. I could live forever. And still, my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. A perfect path to your redemption. You are a goddess. Powers be damned. How do you not see that? I'll say it once, just once. Then you can go where you can stay, but I love you. You meant to make me a goddess. Instead, you have fashioned a fool. See, she finds herself disconnected without her powers. She's been defined by them so much. And that's only a, a portion of who she is, too. Whoa. Aurora, I was just coming upstairs after you. What? How did I return here? Um... <laughs> Uh, what the owl? Get out of my home, you damn demon! Ooh, oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! Is this death? No. You live disappointed, trapped here, haunted, suffering, despairing. I feast on misery. And I, the adversary, shall not waste my meal. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. All right, man. That was a wild, I want to say set of episodes, because it was kind of two in one. We had Jubilee and Roberto going off on their little journey. Her having her 18th birthday kind of wrestling with not just transitioning from a, a child to an adult to kind of going into the world, but also having to adapt to all these other changes. Magneto leading the team, Scott and Gene and all that. Revelations from the last episode also kind of manifesting. The new responsibilities that they now have. The whole thing with the UN and Genosha. Like, there's so much changing. And, like, this is a pivotal point in her life where she's also kind of like, Man, why is it got to get complicated? Why does the world have to change? You know, it's just part of life. It's part of the process. And she's, through this video game, being manipulated into kind of reliving those great old memories, that nostalgia, the things that she knows inside and out because she lived them. No longer having to worry about what may or may not come, not having all the answers, going out in the life completely unprepared for what might be around the corner. And, you know, it, it's just a nice little way you could go through all of that. And it was, that was the goal was to keep her contained in there and processing this endlessly and endlessly and endlessly. I don't know, man, that whole thing was just really, really wild. On top of that, we got to move forward. Things are going to change and we got to change with them, man. Uh, I, I was just, I thought it was cute. It was fun. The nostalgia, the music, the aesthetic, the video game elements of it that they incorporated into it. All that was just so much fun. The animation, Jubilee meeting like an older version herself. Because for a second I was like, is this Jubilee from the future? But it was a version of her that was built into the game, forced to cycle and run it and test it just to copy the one that managed to last the longest to the point where it knew the game well enough and the code well enough, it saved itself from deletion. And so it, it still aged, it still grew, but it just became like this version of Jubilee that had kind of evolved. And through that evolution, was able to pass on that insight and that knowledge to the younger self. Uh, the, well, the real self, not even younger, but anyway, you know what I mean. So she was able to use that in advance. I don't know if she'll be able to do that outside of the game, her little destructo disc spirit bomb amalgamation there and then we had this part one of this life death thing going on with storm and forge and trying to get her powers back and the revelation that he's 
kind of the reason these collars, this technology even exists. And he's kind of trying to find some sense of redemption through helping her. While he's trying to make amends for bringing this technology into the world and for what it has done to someone like her, someone who's so powerful, beautiful, and all these things, and seeing that shot down, that, that angel shot out of the sky, so to speak, is how he kind of feels about this. He's got her on a pedestal. Even without her powers, he still sees all of these things in her where she's struggling to even find value in herself without any of that. And so he's trying to both fix physically as well as mentally what's going on with her by taking her out here. Like, he was like, well, what did you like most about having your powers? And she was like feeling the wind and the circulation, the energy and the power and all this kind of stuff. And he's like, okay, we got to get creative. And you know what? Horseback, the wind, the air, the power, all of that, you know, find another way to experience those same feelings while still being you and finding value in who you are and where you are, regardless of what you have or what you can do. I like the sentiment, the shady nature that got us here. Got a little creepy, not going to lie. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. You know, she was talking about this owl, this was thing that was trapped. And then I don't know if any of this that happened here towards the end was a dream sequence or if that was quite literally that owl that was hovering out there is this creature because they said they were the adversary and it was Storm's voice echoing out of this thing. So like, is she battling herself is what I'm kind of getting at. But is it mental? Is it metaphorical? Is it metaphysical? Is it something else, an entity she is unfortunately called out to? I don't really know. I'm not familiar with at all with with this so i don't know if this is a storyline from the comics personally that's not one i i recall or remember at all it was definitely wild and trippy and i'm excited to see where that goes because this is not something that's going to be resolved here it was just kind of like a part of an episode so we kind of got an episode and a half so i'm wondering if we'll do that again in the next one or if we'll just kind of find and we'll check in with that every so often or if we'll get the part two to life death in, in next week. But either way, both were fun stories. Really enjoyed what we've got set up so far. Again, spectacular episode overall. What'd you guys think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember to see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or forget Marvel's channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share Ryan, Karen, York, Horace, Gun, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justice Smith. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.